This is my top 10 keyboard shortcuts in Final Cut Pro. Number 1. All keyboard shortcuts. By pressing Alt Command K, you will open up the command editor. Here you can find all the keyboard shortcuts in Final Cut Pro, so this is the best shortcut to start with. I will probably do a separate tutorial on this, but you can scroll through all the commands by clicking on all Final Cut Pro commands on the left side. And you can also search for a specific command up here in the search box. Number 2. Enable Disable Clip. You can click an object and then click V to disable that clip audio or graphic. This is good when you have a lot of things on top of each other and you want to watch or review just one of the objects. For example, graphic on top of a video or video with a soundtrack underneath. Number 3. Place Marker. This really comes in handy when you're trying to edit to a beat. You just play the clip and hit M to the beat of the song, then you snap your clips to your markers. If you have skimming activated, the marker will be placed where your cursor is and not where your playhead is. Turn off skimming by pressing S. Number 4. Edit length on a clip. After pressing Ctrl D, you can type in the exact length you want the clip to have. For example, if you want it to be 3 seconds, type in 300 and enter for 3 seconds and 0 frames. Or 3 period and enter. Number 5. Zoom to fit. Hold down Shift and press Z and the zooming in the timeline will adjust so you can see your whole project from start to finish. Number 6. Detach audio. If you for example want to make a J cut where the audio starts before the video, you can click Ctrl Alt S and then adjust only the video or only the audio. To turn it into one object again, you just do the same thing one more time. Ctrl Alt S. Number 7. Custom Speed. By pressing Ctrl Alt R, you can do a couple of things. Reverse the clip, change the speed or change the duration. Number 8. Reset Speed. If you have changed the speed like I showed you in shortcut number 7, you can turn it back to normal just by pressing Alt Command R. This also works with the reverse function. Number 9. Move connection. In Final Cut Pro everything is attached to something on the primary storyline. This clip is attached to the one underneath and this audio track is attached to this clip. If you want to change that, you just hold down Alt and Command and then click on anything that is not on the primary storyline. The object you click on will get a new spike exactly where your cursor is located when you're clicking. Number 10. Paste attributes. First you copy all the attributes from a specific clip by selecting it and pressing command C. Then you paste the attributes you want by clicking on a new clip and then shift command V. Here you can choose one or more attributes and then pressing paste. Thank you for watching this video, feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel and let me know in the comment section below what you want me to cover in the next video. Stay creative and I'll see you soon.